Demonio! Hey all, this is Idiot Cat reporting in for my review of God of War 3. Okay, so as the last game of the God of War trilogy, I think this game wraps it all up pretty well. If you haven't been following the games, it's basically about a Spartan named Kratos who gets messed over by the Greek gods, and so begins his epic quest of getting revenge. Kratos is not a happy person, ever. He's just mad, all the time, at everything. And his solution to all his problems is to beat things in the face. That pretty much sums up the entire trilogy without spoiling anything. It also sums up what the gaming play is like. The God of War games is a hack and slash style series, a brutal hack and slash style series, but not all that difficult to play. All you have to do is pretty much mash the square button, peppered with some triangles and some other buttons. There are different button combos that you can execute with each weapon you collect, but you don't really have to know them. You can pretty much get through the game by winging it. A big part of the gameplay also involves button prompts in quick time events to execute cool and violent finishing moves. When your enemies are weakened, a button symbol appears above their heads and you can either press the corresponding button to initiate a quick time event or you can just beat the critter to death normally. When it comes to beating the humongous bosses that Kratos comes up against, you pretty much have to play these button sequence minigames to finish them off, but believe me, you don't get sick of it. Props to the game designers who orchestrate the boss fights of God of War 3, because seriously, they are amazing. By the end of each fight, you feel like a big damn manly hero. Fighting aside, running around in the God of War world is pretty amazing. The environments in high def are really superb, and you go through some pretty cool places, like the underworld and the river sticks, complete with creepy spirits. And how about the inside of a titan? The level design in the game has some really great interpretations of what places in Greek mythology might look like. You also encounter different environment puzzles, some of which, frustration aside, are really inventive and awesomely designed. While God of War 3 is pretty amazing in every aspect, it isn't without a few flaws. The biggest gripe that I have with this game is trying to jump. Jumping over gaps was ridiculously hard. Double jumping is even worse. If you double tap X too fast or too slow, Kratos does one jump and then starts gliding and probably into a wall or a cliff face. It becomes very, very frustrating sometimes, especially when it comes to the part where you have to chase an enemy and there's a time limit and if you fall to your death you have to start all the way back at the beginning of the chase. Not fun at all. There are also a few glitches I've encountered and other people have reported coming up against too. These glitches aren't the ones that you can move past, these are game stopping glitches where you have to reset the game. These include Kratos respawning in ridiculous places after you die, jumping to get to a lower ledge only to have the game freeze on you, and having bosses you can't hit to trigger the next scene. While they exist, these glitches didn't show up enough for me to get frustrated or hate the game. Overall, I'd give God of War about 8 out of 10, minus 2 points for the whole double jumping thing because that's how frustrated I got with it. But otherwise, everything else is great. Get a copy of this game if you can, and get to kicking gods in the teeth. My vengeance ends now.